Joe Hopkins here, and I'm taking a second look at a guitar today. I've got my uh, Hard Luck Kings Bombshell. Owned it for a while, had it for over a year, did a review on it, and you know, that that's all well and good. That's the review when I first get it, but this, this is my second look because, well, how has it done over the last year? What's my impressions after I've played it for a while? Well, <clears throat> I'll give you my impressions, right? This is a pretty damn good guitar. I'd say Hard Luck Kings, it's professional quality stuff, right? This was $200, and whenever you order from them, remember, uh, you wanna get the setup, and with the setup and the shipping is just add 100 bucks to the cost, right? Cause that, that's about what it's gonna run you is an extra $100 with the uh, shipping and setup. That said, this is a pretty standard, Stratocaster style guitar. You got your five-way switch. You got your, you know, uh, what is it? Volume, tone, tone, I think, or is it volume, volume, tone? It's one or the other. For God's sake, I can't remember. What? Well, screw me, right? Anyway, you got your standard Stratocaster style tremolo, right? Which I don't use uh, <laughs> very much. I gotta say, it, the tremolo does tend to knock it a, a bit out of tune. Nothing on Hard Luck Kings, it's just I really wish they'd, you know, people would start putting something a little bit better than your standard Stratocaster Fender style tremolo on these things. Cause, uh, let's be honest, we all know how those tremolos are, right? Tuning stability is not the best of my guitars, but it's still pretty decent. It holds itself in tune if you don't mess with the tremolo too much right? The tremolo works fine. It works just like a Strat tremolo. It's just, it's a Strat tremolo. Yeah, we all know how they are. Anyway, like I said, tuning stability is not the best of the guitars I own, but it's nowhere close to the worst. It is reasonable. It holds its tuning pretty good. You put like locking tuners on it, it'd probably do a lot better, but the tuners that are on it are pretty good, right? They're solid, professional quality tuners, right? Uh, this is basically as good as you're going to get from like Fender or Squire, but uh, at a pretty reasonable price. Now, maybe green ain't your gig, right? And that ain't your jam. I, I love this bright neon green, but if you don't, they have other colors, right? I'll put a link to their website in the uh, description below, right? You can go take a look at what they have. Now, as far as the setup goes, the setup is spot on. I mean, it is really good. The frets are very, very good. All of it is very professionally done. And I love the way it sounds. It, they, you know, the pickups sound absolutely spectacular. I've recorded a good bit with it. I love playing this thing. This is my go-to strat when I'm, I'm just, you know, messing around or even recording. It, it's all put together very well. Obviously, it's a bolt-on neck, just like a Strat, you know, that's what a Strat is. So, uh, you know, I like the bombshell inlays on it. That's pretty cool. It's it's just a wild colored rock and roll machine. You know, I dig it, but you guys want to hear how it sounds, right? So, oh wait, got to turn on the amp. Let's, let's, uh, yeah. There we go, let's try it now. There we go. Let's put it up on the neck pickup and uh, just give you some clean tones there. You know, sounds good, I think. Yeah, decent stuff. And then you get the uh, neck middle. Standard Strat sounding guitar in the middle. Yeah, dig the way it sounds. 
and then you get the uh, middle bridge. Wonderful thing about a Strat, you can get that middle neck, middle bridge, gives it a particular Strat type sound. <laughs> Strat type scent, and everybody's favorite, the bridge. Yeah, of course, on uh, the clean tones, I really do kind of like the, uh, like, you know, the neck and middle. Gives it that nice full kind of tone, right? But you all want to know how it rocks out. Get some crunch, right? So there we go. There's some, let's see. Yeah, that's on crunch. There we go. Got the uh, neck pickup on, a little bit of crunch there. There we go, get that neck and middle, you know? Just the middle, get you know, give you an idea how it sounds. Yeah, it's my attempt at tapping. My attempt. I'm not a shredder. All right, all right, so, middle and bridge. Right, there it is, right? And everybody's favorite, the bridge. Yeah, there you go. But you want to know, what does it sound like with like a whole bunch of crunchy metal type, you know, heavy tones, right? So, there we go, let's do something heavier. <laughs> There we go, it's a neck pickup there.
All right, there you go. Neck and middle. There we go. How about just the, uh, yeah, just the middle. Middle and bridge. I like middle and bridge. Middle and bridge is good. Once again, everybody's favorite, the bridge. So there you go, right? That's that's the sounds. I just I dig that too much, man. That that uh, lots of gain, bridge pickup. There's my attempt, at, right? It's me noodling around, right? So let's let's uh, yeah, boom. There we go. Get a little get a little bit of quiet here. So anyway, there we go. That's a second look at the Hard Luck Kings bombshell. It is quite a bombshell, honestly. I love this guitar. This is my go-to Stratocaster. Like I said, it's very Strat. I mean, I could go over every last little detail of this thing, but the truth is, is if you've played a Strat, you'll recognize this guitar. It's, you know, scale length, neck width, feel, the whole thing. Very Stratocaster. All of it is, it's a Strat. Now, you can see it's got the uh, color on the, on the back of the neck too, right? It's not like a satin finish or anything, but that doesn't really seem to, you know, hold me up with moving around on, on the neck there. I'd, I'd kind of prefer a satin finish, I guess, but I don't know. This doesn't really, a lot of times the uh, paint on the back of the neck slows your hand down, right? It gets sticky. This doesn't. It, uh, you know, my fingers don't stick. It's all done very well. And it, it's, like I said, it's held up really well. The most abuse it has is, I, you probably can't see it on the camera, but my pick guard has got, you know, all scratched up. That's just from playing. It's because I play it a lot. I kind of beat on it. 
and uh, is what it is, man. You, guitars, they're made to be played. They're made to be used. So, uh, but everything else works great. Everything's fine. I mean, you know, it's a good guitar. It's lasted me over a year. A lot of playing, a lot of recording with this. I've really enjoyed it. And uh, I'd recommend it to just about anybody. Now, I'm assuming, I'm assuming that their other guitars are of the same level of quality. You know, they got like basses, they've got Telecaster style guitars, Les Pauls, Flying Vs, all that kind of stuff. All kinds of stuff. You'd have to go to their website and take a look. They do limited runs of these things, right? They'll have, I think this was run 22 or something like that. I don't know, they're on like 26 or 28. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, they are limited runs. And when they sell out, they do another batch and have another numbered run, right? I don't even know if it has the number on it here as to what run it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, it does, 24. Okay, so this was... 24, right? So, uh, like I said, they, they do runs periodically. You got to take a look and see what they actually have. But overall, I'd recommend it. Now, they are out of Southern California, so shipping time, I guess, is dependent upon where in the world you are. Uh, I'm out here on the East Coast in West Virginia. That's not on the coast, but it's considered East Coast. So, you know, it didn't take too long for me to get this guitar. Uh, if you're in another country, I guess, check shipping charges or if they ship to your country or, you know, all that kind of stuff. If you're out in California, I don't know, maybe you could go out there and visit them, pick it up in person, right? I, I wouldn't mind doing that. It sounds pretty cool. So, hey man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you found it informative, man. Check out Hard Luck Kings. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit that bell down there. It does something. It goes ding, 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 because it's a bell, right? It's, uh, I guess. I don't know. I haven't hit it. I don't know. I haven't even hit the bell on my own channel. I'm a bastard like that. But, you know, you guys, here in a sec, there's going to be uh, you know, like end thing and there's going to be playlists and you can check out my other reviews. You can check out my songs, subscribe to my channel and all that kind of good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. I love you guys. All right, man. Peace out, baby. Bye-bye. <laughs>